Happy New Year! It's Tuesday, January 4th, and I thought that I would just give you guys a quick update on how my week is going so far. Um, yesterday was Ren's birthday, and we had the most amazing stay at the Four Seasons. So before you think I'm like this rich person or something, understand that I work for the Four Seasons here in San Francisco, and there's this thing called the fam Familiaration Stay. And so myself and a guest get got to stay at the Four Seasons for one night. We got um, one of our rooms comped. We got all the food that we ate comped. So the treat was you got to eat in the restaurant for dinner and you got to have room service for breakfast. And it was amazing, let me tell you. I've never felt so lucky in my life. It felt amazing. So yesterday was an awesome day. I did lots of walking, however, it was the first day in about a week and a half that I haven't been to the gym. So I did feel really guilty all day, and I had a huge meal at dinner, um, and not the healthiest of foods, I must confess. So I'm feeling quite guilty about not going to the gym yesterday, but it's okay, it was Ren's birthday, it was meant to celebrate. So I'm going today. I'm very excited. I'm actually all dressed and ready to go to the gym. Um, so let's see. Um, it was really romantic. Ren and I had a bubble bath and it was just, ah, it was so nice, you guys. It was so nice to just relax and I went to the hair salon and I got my hair cut finally. I'm not even sure if you can tell because it looks a disaster right now. But um, I got it I got it trimmed a little bit and it feels a lot healthier. It had been about seven months since I got a haircut. Um, and on the topic of running and trying to lose weight, everything has been going really well with the exception of yesterday and this morning. Um, basically, I've been in the gym every single day and even when I really didn't feel like going, I still went. Um, and I started lifting weights and I started running quite a bit and running between three and four miles a day. And on the day that I really was exhausted, like I had worked 10 to 6 and I was so tired, um, I went to the gym afterward about 6.30 and I ran for 15 minutes and I went on the elliptical for half an hour. Just because I could not get my feet to move anymore. <laughs> anyway... I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. I'm going to completely and officially weigh in every Friday again. Um, the Biggest Loser Challenge this, the Biggest Loser Challenge begins at work on Friday morning, and I'm really excited. I have the day off. So I'm going to go into work kind of early and weigh in with HR, and then I'm going to go to the gym directly after that, and I'm going to take that anti-gravity yoga class again with this coworker of mine. And then I'm probably going to stay in the gym a little longer and maybe run and um, do some weights. So should be a really good day. Um, I'm expecting to maybe lose between a pound and five-tenths of a pound. It's okay. I'm not expecting this to be, like, immediate. But this whole week, I noticed I was kind of falling back into my old habit. I was stepping on the scale again every morning. And if you go back and you watch my videos from February, I had that habit in the beginning. I would step on the scale every morning, and I would be devastated if I went up, and I would be ecstatic if I lost weight. But the thing is, you can't measure your body like that. I need to stop doing that, and I know I need to stop doing that. Um, so I still have the measuring tape that I... Um, I still have this thing. So I'm probably going to do some measurements on Friday. And I'm going to set some goals for the month of January and um, tell you a little bit more about the Biggest Loser Challenge or the Resolution Challenge, they're calling it at work. All right. Well, that's just a quick update. I hope that you all had a fantastic new year. Uh, mine was kind of low-key. Ren and I just watched the fireworks on TV, and I Skyped with my family in Florida, and... Um, you know, that was that. I cooked a little bit, but it was all healthy. Pretty pretty good food. So I finished Jemima J. And as sad as I am to say that I finished it, I'm excited though because I'm starting on the other books that I need to reread and begin to read. Um, I got about a third of the way through You on a Diet through Dr. Oz back when I was living in Fort Myers. And then we moved out here and I haven't really picked up a book since. So getting into Jemima J was about the first book that I've officially read since I've been back into my little habits and kind of 
coming back into myself and just kind of being the person that I know I am, the person that I want to be. So I started reading You Want to Diet again, and I'm, I'm, I've only gotten into like the first couple chapters, but it's really good. It I don't know if you've ever, if any of you have ever read it before, but it kind of helps you understand what food does to your body and why you crave certain things. And I'm still trying to understand it myself um, because once you get down to food is nourishment and the the actual science about food, you kind of start to realize that you don't really, really, really want or need that chocolate bar. You kind of just crave it and it's not really that good for you. Obviously, I'm sure you know. <laughs> All right. Everybody have an awesome day. I'm gonna get ready to go to the gym and then I'm off to work. Mm -hmm.